In this video, we'll discuss how you can use serverless Scala to develop and deploy your jobs on Databricks. We'll cover three topics. The first one is how you can set up a Databricks asset bundle template to bootstrap a Scala project. Next, I'll do a little demo of developing with Databricks Connect locally. And lastly, I'll show you how the Databricks asset bundle templates enables you to package up and deploy your Scala workloads as jars on serverless compute. Why does serverless matter? Serverless has three main components. The first one is that it's simple. It enables you to focus on business goals instead of infrastructure knobs. Secondly, it's very performant. You get really fast startup times and execution and environment caching. And lastly, it's maintenance free. So you get version lift, upgrades, and automatic infrastructure. So the first step in setting up a serverless Scala project is to initialize a Databricks asset bundle template. This command is available on our public documentation. So I press enter. The first question asks me to name this project. I will just call this one demo. Next, I have to provide a path to a UC volume. I already have one created, so I'll just copy paste that one in. So let's take a look at the dApps project I just created. Let's find run it. What happens when I click run here is we connect to Databricks serverless compute not only are you able to run the code, but you also get full interactive debuggability. So here I can click debug. Let's try and print a schema. You can see it works just as expected. So now that I've interactively developed the workload, let's try and deploy it to Databricks. All you have to do is type Databricks bundle deploy. What happens here in the background is the DAP template will create a fat jar. It will upload the jar to the volume that we specified before, and it will create a job in Databricks. So let's take a look what this uploads. Let's take a look at the job that it will create. There is it, the job will be called demo. There will be one main task that calls a main class, and it references one jar. So now that my job deployed and my jar has been uploaded, let's try and run the job. Databricks on the run. So now that my job ran, let's take a look. Also, if we look at the run event logs, we can see that we triggered the job run at 310 and about 20 seconds later, compute was ready and the job started running. Also, what's important here is we don't have to think at all about managing infrastructure anymore. Serverless automatically upgrades the server and keeps the client environment constant here with this environment version and does all of the infrastructure selection, driver size, driver memory, the number of nodes, or anything like that. It's just a managed Spark service. You also get all of the benefits of Unity Catalog. So for example, here with Lineage, I can see that I've read from an upstream table. Today, we've shown that how you can develop and deploy Scala workloads using serverless compute and how serverless enables a simple performance maintenance-free experience.